Hello and welcome to Complete Games, I'm James and I just wanted to do a quick channel update and show you guys around a secret cave location on the Aberration map that not a lot of people really talk about but nonetheless it's definitely an interesting location that you should check out. Now between episodes I've been up on the surface again, we managed to get a slightly better shotgun, I know last week we managed to get this one at around 240%. Well, we got one that is closer to 300% damage, but it's still not the blueprint. And I would rather pump some crafting skill and get a really good shotgun because soloing an Alpha Rockwell, yeah, I'm really going to need it against them Alpha tentacles that he's got there. So this location I was actually going to show you in the next artifact episode but I figured that it's at the opposite end of the map so rather than confuse things we'd do a shorter episode. Now it's by no means essential that we come here to complete aberration but it's definitely worth a visit if you're ever in this cave. So there's the Leviathan we're going to come into the rock drake nest at this end and I'm sure some of you are thinking, oh, have you got any quads? Well, it's just difficult to put the coordinates down here in map location because technically we are under what is the bioluminescence zone now. So we're just going to come here to this little triangle entrance just at the rock drake nest. Now there's a couple of ways you can get round to this cave, but I'm going to come in from this way. I'm going to keep to the left. Here's the map, just in case you want to see it, but perhaps if you just look for this location and when you enter the cave here in this triangle, if you just keep to the left, you'll be able to find it, but this is where this entrance is in the rock drake nest. It is small, just a little bit tricky to find. So now this isn't actually the cave. It's just a route round to the other side of the nest. But if we come through this way, I think it's just easier to follow along at home with. Now, I have been doing some streaming back on Twitch as well, if you're interested. We've been playing some Seven Days to Die, and as I have been mentioning over there, it's definitely one I want to bring to the channel and come up with a challenge for it. I was thinking permadeath, so if we die that's kind of game over and the challenge over. Oh, wow, what a cool looking drake, I like the white. It's one thing I wish is you could actually sometimes uh, tame some of the drakes you see rather than grab the eggs because, you know, it's got kind of that turquoise underneath it as well. Well, I don't. So this is what we was looking for straight ahead is the cave entrance. Now, I suppose why not a lot of people talk about this cave is there there isn't any notes in here. There isn't really anything of note to gather. A little bit of element ore, which is a right pain to make element from. You have to use charge stations and batteries and but this is it. The crystal skull, as I call it. Oh. I'm just interrupting our sightseeing mission. But yeah, I really love this location. So if you are down here hunting through some rock road nests, then I certainly recommend coming down and checking this location out. It's a great place for some screenshots. 
especially if you want to change your desktop wallpaper. Oh. This is definitely a nice spot. I say there's a little bit of element ore down here. Well, there's plenty of element ore all around here, but I personally, I'm not using it. If we would have actually came onto this map and kept all of our tech stuff from the previous maps, then using that wouldn't be a problem to keep our generators going. As you can see, we can't place any foundations, but otherwise it would be an interesting to place to build. Nothing actually spawns in this cave either. So really its only purpose is to come in and take some screenshots I suppose but I definitely think it's cool enough to warrant a visit. But let me know down in the comments if you've actually found this cave. It wouldn't surprise me if some players have managed to complete aberration without even knowing this area existed. As quite a few of us on the complete crew couldn't find it. I knew it was here somewhere, but they gave us the um, location and when we completed it we all came down here to get some screenshots. It was like the one thing that we hadn't done was come down to this cave. So there we go. So if you're interested in some seven days to die, like I say, I'm just getting a little bit better on Twitch before we bring it to YouTube and I come up with a challenge. I'm not so sure what the challenge is going to be yet, but I definitely want to bring a different game to the channel as well as continue on with Ark. I'm fairly inconsistent over on the Twitch side of things. I just tend to go live as and when I can. But like I say, if you want to come and see me do some practice on Seven Days to Die before we bring it to the channel, then you're more than welcome to join us over there. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.